the governors. We appointed Orcock. If we come out against him now, we're admitting we are a bunch of damn fools to choose him in the first place. Mm. No one likes to do that. Every one of us thinks he's got God's own gift for judging his fellow beings. Well, I've made a hell of a lot of mistakes in a long life. Don't mind admitting to one more. Isn't this over? Yes, I think so. No, I'll run you home. Good morning, Father Jones. Oh, good morning, Brigadier, and thank you. Chin up, David. Must be our turn for a bit of luck, but just to be on the safe side, no more politics for a bit, eh? You be a good, quiet, mediocre little chap for two weeks, eh? Just to please me. Girl taking exercise that is not fitting. How many letters? Five. Hmm. Any words that occur to me are too indelicate for the crossword. <laughs> what are they? Molly New, Molly New, have the goodness to control yourself. Have a word with the servants, Barnaby. There's a good chap. More bromide for Mr. Molly New's tea. Good God. Bad news? No. Well, come on, man. I've got a publisher for the Royal Tigers. Oh, let's have a squint. Who oh, are the old man boys own paper? Uh, Hassels. Hassels? And very complimentary. Well, they're only one notch down from the Oxford <laughs> University Press. You're a made man, PJ. Villa in the south of France by next year. Wet November's on the rugby pitch. Just be a bit of memory. Could I have known? Mm. Say that, are you proud? A mm, few suggestions for minor alterations. That's very restrained of them. Could you come up and have lunch with the chairman? Bring your agent? I haven't got an agent. Well, you'd obviously have to get one. And a butler, too. Even alcock has got a Rigby to look after him. Out of nonsense. Harry's always managed without anyone. Why on earth Alcock had to bring an old crock like Rigby? I don't know. Someone to make his hot drinks, no doubt. Anyway, David, when you're thinking of a chauffeur, I hope you'll bear me in mind. It's only a biography, Molly. It's, it's not the good companions. I'm not going to make any money out of it. If I can get myself a couple of suits and a down payment on an Austin 7, I'll have done very well, I reckon. But you're a Hassel's author now, man. Look, doesn't that put you out of all cock's reach? You can pick and choose your jobs now, if you do decide to stay in teaching. But I do want to stay here. I don't want to go anywhere else. It's touching, Howarth, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm damn glad to hear you say it. In conclusion, I would like your close attention on what may seem to you a mundane matter, but it is of the greatest importance. Since I took over as headmaster of this school, it has been my constant endeavor to improve its academic standards, its moral values, its efficiency, and its physical appearance. And in general, I have not been displeased with what has been achieved. There is no cause for complacency, but I have not been displeased. But sometimes I am gravely disappointed. Yesterday afternoon, I had cause to inspect the new latrines, and I was shocked, shocked by what I saw there. Muddy footprints. Games equipment carelessly abandoned by boys with no respect for property and something else. Something much worse. Mr. Molyneux. <laughs> Some boy or boys with no more respect for what is decent than a farmyard animal has wiped his muddy boots on the roller towel provided for all. I want to know who that culprit is. Some boy in the school, some boy sitting amongst you this morning, has committed this disgusting act. I expect to be told who it is today, either by the boy himself or by some other. And if I am not informed, further measures will be taken which will affect the whole school. This is a test. 
of our community. No code of schoolboy honor could operate in such a matter, and make no mistake about it, my staff are fully behind me in this. A word with you in my study in five minutes, if you'll be so kind. Remember, a test of our community. School. Despite Algy's fatherly advice, I'm coming to see you at the weekend. Take it as moral support or what you like. Love, David. Come in. You see a doomed man. Roll at Al Molyneux. Third years are calling me Roley already. What are you talking about? Oh, of course, you went in this morning. Orcock survived his obsession with the latrines, did a great performance on them this morning, using me as a sort of conjurer's assistant. I can't bear to tell you. You'll hear soon enough. I don't think I want to know. I'm afraid I just can't find that man funny anymore. Only way to stay sane, Howard says. You mustn't let him get you down, David. He's only trying to ruin your career, after all. Hmm. Oh, Molly, um, you're duty master this weekend, aren't you? Yes, yes. Molly and you at the helm. Why? Well, I think I'd better go down to Billhampton, see how Christine's getting on. Ah. Oh. Is that wise? I don't see why not. Well, if it were me, I'd be making myself very conspicuous around the house. Eagle-eyed patrols of the wash houses, finger in the dike, the housemaster who never left his post. Look, there's never been any requirement that housemasters should spend the free weekends on the premises. And under Harry's, well, we were positively encouraged to follow outside interests. Damn it, I want to be judged for what I am, and if they don't like it, they can say so. It's only me. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly. It's not you I'm angry with. I think I'm glad that I don't have your moral courage. It makes life so awkward. Well, at least it makes it exciting. I must go. Charles I, with the fifth removed. With whose head on the block? One's constantly busy, don't you find? Oh, uh... And yet one should find time to, uh, chat with one's staff. Yes, indeed. Here's your lemon lane, Mr. Alcock. And uh, coffee for Mr. Hearth. You'll take coffee, Hearth? Oh, yes, I will indeed. Very kind of you. I find it doesn't agree with me. Stimulates the heart, Headmaster. Yes, sir, I believe. Thank you, Rigby. You don't mind? Uh, not at all. Please do. The governors. We appointed Orcock. If we come out against him now, we're admitting we are a bunch of damn fools to choose him in the first place. Mm. No one likes to do that. Every one of us thinks he's got God's own gift for judging his fellow beings. Well, I've made a hell of a lot of mistakes in a long life. Don't mind it bitten to one more. Okay. Business over? Yes, I think so. Oh, I'll run you home. Good morning, Father hey. Jones. Oh, good morning, Brigadier, and thank you. Chin up, David. Must be our turn for a bit of luck, but just to be on the safe side, no more politics for a bit, eh? You be a good, quiet, mediocre little chap for two weeks, eh? Just to please me.
girl taking exercise that is not fitting. How many letters? 